Hi, today I want to show you my Jeep Sequencer 2.1. I assume you have watched the previous video before, so I'm not going to the details how to download and run it. I already downloaded. I will provide a shortcut to the new version and already extracted to the directory. So to start it, just as before, run the Jeep Sequencer GUI dot bat. I will go straight to the new features. I'm not going to explain what's happening uh, here. The new feature uh, 2.1, it will show you the user-friendly name. You don't need to change anything in the setting. You can use the Twingly app to change the name. Uh, here I already changed one called Wall Panel 400. I'm going to use this slide for the demonstration today. So as before, just click on Generate. Then you will scan all the ZIP files in the predefined ZIP directory. I'm not going to the details. You can check it in the previous video. So now I'm going to delete some of them, which I don't need. Today I want to show you the new feature is the text here. So I'm going to save it in a new file, demo.csv. Okay, what's happening with this new feature, text? Uh, now I can scroll text uh, to the light. So just make it easy to read, give it a space here. Let's add a new text line. And just like here, duration and frame per second. At the moment, uh, we just put 5 seconds. We don't know how long we need for the text. It depends how long your text is. So uh, 7 is a good speed I tested for this case. So let's put some text and put some space to clean up the text. Now I need to define a matrix for my pixel character. At the moment, my lights are all, uh, arranged in a rectangle, so I'm going to put 10 the y for the y-axis and 40 for the x-axis. What I'm doing here, I'm not using the square pixel. The width is smaller than the height in each pixel. I use this to make the text scroll smoothly. Let's do it now, 40 and 10. I want to put the text on a GIF file, so I don't want the text fill the whole screen, so I'm going to define the margin. So let's go to the next image here. Uh, you can see this is an example for the letter A. For each horizontal pixel in the text, uh, it's occupied two pixels on the matrix. All these things you don't have to worry. I just want to explain why the pixels are not square. I want to leave a little bit space on the left hand side and the right hand side. So four pixels, one, two, three, four here. So put four comma four and from the top two pixels. Now I'm going to put the GIF file as the background. So I can show you what is this here. This is my image. I'm going to put a frame around the text. Then I need to specify where do I want to put the GIF file. This is based on the Twingly coordinate. The x-axis is from minus 1 to 1 and the y-axis is from 0 to 1. Now I want to put my GIF file to cover the whole screen, so I have to define the corner, the bottom corner and the top corner here. This one is minus one zero and the top corner is one one. So minus one zero and one one. 
so you can see here is the hint for if you want to do so something and because the uh, duration is zero so the program will ignore all the zero duration so let's do two seconds of this GIF image now I can save it so let's upload the demo and see what will happen Okay, there's a GIF image only, and uh, this one is the text surrounded by the frame. So as you can see, it uh, there are not enough uh, frames to show the text. And here you can see this is the Big Boss 97 text. It has calculated how many frames are generated for the text and you need minimum duration of 21 seconds to see all the text. So let's change it. Now the first thing I want to change is to change the duration a little bit longer, 21 seconds. And for the next thing I want to show you uh, when I put the GIF file next to the text. Say text, duration, frame per second and so a little bit space to run the text and the matrix size is set the same 40 times 10 and now I want to do something differently that's what I want I want to put the GIF file here and run the text here so let's do it the the left hand side is 15 uh, right hand side is 0, top is 2 2 and now I want to put the candle here so now it's the bottom uh, corner bottom corner here for the GIF file minus 1, 0 and the top corner minus 0, 3 and 1 okay oh I need to put the duration here as well let's say 2 let me put the candle in between again so put a candle between the text So basically this feature allows you to scroll text on a GIF image or you can put the GIF image next to the text. It looks like a little bit complicated but if you understand the concept it's not that hard to do. So I hope you will find this video useful. If you like it please give me a thumb up. Thank you for watching. Bye!